If a certain internet superstar doctor is to be believed, this sour golden liquid is among the top natural allergy fighters. Or so he says. How does it help? Other than generic statements like boosting immunity and alkalinity in the body, he doesn't provide any scientific reasons as to why it may help a runny nose or with breathing difficulties. Nor does he explain why this treatment takes several weeks for results and needs to be used on a regular basis. Now just because there are reviews from empty suits like that, it doesn't necessarily mean one should cast off the whole idea. Might there really be something to this, as many personal testimonials allege? Let's take a look at the science. Studies and medical literature. With well over 30 million records, the PubMed database is the most comprehensive source for peer-reviewed medical literature. It's run by the U.S. National Library of Medicine National Institutes of Health, but don't draw the conclusion it's censored because it's the government. Whether they like it or not, any clinical study that is published in a peer-reviewed medical journal will be listed in PubMed. Even the most controversial topics like cancer treatments involving soursop and elderberry for colds. Each of those has hundreds of related papers listed in PubMed. So how many are about ACV for skin allergies, rhinitis, asthma attacks, and other things along those lines? Using those and various other keywords, the closest thing we could find was an article published in a 1987 issue of the Journal of the American Dietetic Association, which was titled, Management of Patients Using Unproven Regimens for Arthritis. In it they talk of allergy diets and apple cider vinegar and honey drinks being used for arthritis. So really they were talking about two different things. The date of that, some 30 years ago, just goes to show you how there's not much new under the sun. These remedies are not new. It's important to call a spade a spade. Any internet guru who claims this is a new proven benefit of drinking the vinegar is misleading you. Some even dare to say a bottle of Bragg is equal in effectiveness as Zyrtec, Claritin, and other antihistamine medications. Really ridiculous claims. With all that said, it might hypothetically benefit you, and here are the five reasons why. Reducing inflammation. When you suffer an allergic reaction of any kind, in a nutshell, it's your body overreacting to an otherwise harmless substance. Your immune system mistakes the protein as being something bad when it's really not. This reaction sets off a cascade of inflammatory cycles within the body. The secretion of cytokines, chemokines, and growth factors leads to nasal congestion, itchy and watery eyes, wheezing, and hives. With asthma attacks, there is a similar autoimmune reaction that causes the narrowing of the airways. Not that it would stop an allergy or asthma attack, but reducing other causes of inflammation in your body might reduce the severity of symptoms during an attack. Unlike meat, dairy, eggs, and most processed foods which promote inflammation throughout the body, vegetables and low-sugar fruits produce the opposite effect. Although not conclusively proven, there is research that has found apple cider vinegar to have the following effects after ingestion. Reduction of systolic blood pressure in rats, which is the top number. A significantly lower risk for fatal ischemic heart disease has been found to correlate with the consumption of an oil and vinegar salad dressing five to six times per week. Rice vinegar, which is similar, has been found to correlate with smaller tumor sizes in rodent cancer models. Placebo-controlled human trials have corroborated anti-glycemic effects when 20 grams of vinegar was consumed with meals, which is about four teaspoons. Inflammation is the biggest side effect of atherosclerosis, and in a study using rabbits, it was concluded that apple juice could effectively prevent the progress of atherosclerosis. While the vinegar is mostly acetic acid, it does share some of the phytonutrients found in fresh fruit. The same can be said about sinus infections. It wouldn't offer any antibacterial or antiviral effect, yet any reduction in inflammation of the airways might make you more comfortable as you are going through that cold or flu. Acts as an expectorant. Benadryl works by having an antihistamine effect. In other words, taming down your immune system's overreaction to the allergens. Mucinex helps in a different way. It doesn't address the root cause, but it acts as an expectorant to loosen mucus in the nose, throat, and lungs so you can breathe easier. Using a spoonful of Bragg's vinegar reportedly produces a similar effect for many. With its extremely sour and bitter taste, that repulsive quiver you have at the moment may be just what you need to get that congested nose clear. If experienced, this expectorant benefit will almost certainly be short-lived. Nothing like pseudoephedrine for 4-6 to six hours or mucinex for 12. Still, though, some relief of congestion is probably better than none. Plus it's the advantage of a natural remedy versus chemicals that get your heart racing. Healthier Mucus Production In a number of personal reviews, you may see online, many people claim that they have less snot or mucus production when they drink ACV every day. Is there any science to back that up? 
No study out of Stanford or human data can corroborate that claim. Though as strange as it may seem, there was something published in 2017 about feeding cider vinegar to carp, yes, the fish, and apparently, it boosted immunomodulatory aka promoted a healthier immune system. In the 8-week trial, the fish were split into different groups of diets. Control diet. Added dosage of lactobacillus casei, a probiotic. Vinegar representing 1% of diet. Vinegar representing 2% of diet. 1% vinegar plus L. Casei. 2% vinegar plus L casei. The results? Those given the apple vinegar and the probiotic together had a notable increase of total egg level and lysozyme activity in their skin mucus. In plain English, more antibodies and protective enzymes were found in their mucus. Also, the highest expression of other immune-related and antioxidant enzyme genes was seen in the two groups taking ACV and probiotics together. The scientists said this duo can be considered as a promising immunostimulant in an early stage of common carp culture but of course, people are far different than fish. No one can claim this is happening in humans but regardless, it's the first shred of science to support the idea that this vinegar may promote healthier mucus. However, they never said less mucus was produced in the fish. Can be used to irrigate the nose. Even though it is believed to have an alkalizing effect after digestion, the vinegar of apple cider has a pH ranging from 3.5 to 5 depending on the brand. That's very acidic compared to your body's pH, which hovers somewhere between 7.3 and 7.4. Though surprisingly, it's still less acidic than a Pepsi or Coke at 2.5. With anything outside of a 7, you need to be careful when using it as a flush or wash. Adding honey may reduce pollen sensitivity. Now to be clear, most reviewers don't even mention using honey but as you know, this is a popular pairing. While it hasn't been consistently demonstrated in clinical trials, honey has been anecdotally reported to help the symptoms of seasonal allergies, according to the Mayo Clinic. More recently, many have put forth the theory that regularly eating local honey might help someone become less sensitive to the local pollen in the air. Why? Because trace amounts of pollen will be present in the honey and as a series of allergy shots, by being exposed to tiny amounts, your body gets used to the allergen. While that theory remains unproven, there is clinical evidence to suggest it's not a myth. A Malaysian study split participants into two groups. All were given loratadine and, in addition, half received a daily dosage of honey. Allergic rhinitis symptoms were scored at the start, week 4, and week 8. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.